Welcome back to Cook It Simple with Eric. Today we're going to make your non-traditional taco. Um, tacos can be made any way you want to make them. I know you have a traditional taco. People are very particular, particular about their tacos. That's okay. I grew up eating tacos. I absolutely love tacos. Now growing up we had your standard ground beef that you seasoned with the packet. You had your shredded cheddar cheese. You had what do we have some shredded lettuce and some tomato on top and that's how we ate it and I could eat a, just tons of them. I love tacos and to this day I still like to have them at least once a week and this is this is a very quick meal so I went ahead and made this tonight I mean it's fast it's quick so um, basically we're gonna make this beautiful and tasty taco right here with just the ingredients you see in front of me so let's get started so what we're going to need for our taco adventure i always like to start out with your standing stuff corn tortillas they work out well they stand up on their own you can put a little more um, stuff inside of them so next we're going to want to brown one pound of our hamburger I have 85.15 because of course it was on sale, so I bought it. We're going to season our brown hamburger. I like to put a little smoked paprika in it, some chili powder, season to taste, maybe a tablespoon of each. Um, I also like to put salt and pepper and garlic powder in it. And that's all the seasonings I've really put in it. I don't use the uh, packets that you use from the store because I think it's just little too salty for my taste so I always like to kind of regulate seasonings that way so once we get that browned we'll put that and put the hamburger into the shell we're going to put some queso blanco cheese on it on top of there which I love this stuff I've got the uh, medium so it might give us a little bit of a kick on top of that oops jumping ahead of myself on top of that we will take some avocados we will get them smashed up and then we're going to put that on top of the Casablanco then we're going to come back and we're going to put our pico de gallo on top of that and that to me is the perfect taco for me now growing up I absolutely loved tacos you know we had your standard you know your ground beef taco seasonings then you put your you know your shredded cheddar cheese on it usually cheddar cheese and then we'd put you know like chunked up tomatoes and lettuce and that's what we had and growing up I loved tacos still do actually whenever I go to a Mexican restaurant I order a meal and then two tacos on the side because they're great but this combination here for me is just mm, perfect so, so the first thing we're going to do we're going to get our ground beef browned up drained if needed then we'll put our seasonings on so first thing I want to do is do that so I'm just going to put that on a medium high heat I did preheat the skillet a little bit but of course with filming I had to stop so I didn't over overheat it um, so we're just going to break this up we'll get started with this I'm not going to show you the full process there is a video on that I, ha <clears throat> that I have that's on how to brown hamburger. So check that video out. So I'm gonna throw this in, then we'll come back and we'll start with our avocados next. All right, we have our hamburger back there browning. It's about, probably getting close to done. But avocados, I just like to take my knife, put it there and just kind of work it all around like that so once you do that you should be able just to pull it off sometimes they pop out easy sometimes they don't this one is a fighter all right so put that over there for now now if you've seen in my guacamole video I just like take my knife right through like this do that get that part out of there just 
take her down that's halfway crunched at that point so let me go ahead and do it with these ones real quick we'll definitely have to check on our hamburger here all right see if we can make this guy get a little bit easier there we go that's where they're supposed to come out do that that Get these guys all taken care of here just like that put it in doesn't have to be pretty or fancy this we're just doing this to kind of help with the uh, mashing process now what you want to do pop it out Just like so. I'm going to check on the hamburger real quick and then we'll come back and get this squished up. Give me just a second. Okay, so the hamburger, I went ahead, finished browning it. I let it kind of caramelize a little bit, um, get a little brownness to it. Chunked it up real fine. I did about a teaspoon of chili powder, or no, about a tablespoon of chili powder, and maybe a couple teaspoons of your uh, smoked paprika salt and pepper to taste and garlic powder probably about a teaspoon all around mix it up tastes good smells good so we're going to go with that um, i went ahead and i did our queso cheese in the microwave for 30 second burst so i did that twice at 30 seconds we got um get that nice and warmed up for us now with your avocados we're just going to smash them with our fork now you could actually make a uh, guacamole. I have a video for the guacamole, so take a peek at that. Um, you can just make a guacamole and do it, but being a weeknight, work night and stuff, and it's a little after eight o'clock now, I went ahead and just opted for the, whole, uh, the pico de gallo made at the store. So there we go. I like to leave mine a little, a little chunky. There we have that. So we're just going to set this off to the side. I've just got two of them out here to get us started. So let me grab our hamburger meat, which turned out very well, as you can see. Nice coloring. Smells delicious. So let's go ahead and we're just going straight into building. So, like I said, this is a very quick and simple meal. Uh, who doesn't love tacos, by the way? So, put your meat in however much you want. So I'm just going to go ahead and build both of them. So, now this meat was very lean. I would probably go with an 80-20, maybe even a 70-30. Because I think the 80-15 was just a little too lean. I mean, there was like no grease whatsoever. So, I don't know. So we'll set that back there for now. All right, so next thing we want to do is we're going to put some of our queso cheese on it, that or queso blanco cheese that we have warmed up. And I am a cheese eater. I love cheese. Now these get messy. As you can see, we're coming out the ends. And that's okay. Make a mess. If you guys watch my videos, you'll know that I do good. All right, so now once we have that, when, once you're happy with your cheese, it's going to take you a little bit of your avocado. Just lay it down in there. Like so. You can see that, hopefully. I can I do the same thing here? Now, if you're a hamburger eater, this combination on a hamburger is really, really good. I know when we were in Savannah, Georgia, one place had this combination of a big old juicy hamburger. 
Okay, hopefully that'll me wipe my hands real quick. Got a big old juicy cheeseburger and had those combinations. Oh, it was so good and I'd make them now just because of that, so. All right, now you pico de gallo, I like to get a spoon. That way you don't get all the juices in, you get the flavors, but the juices. But here you got some onions, you got your tomatoes, looks like you got some peppers or jalapenos in it. Simply just slap some of that on the top. However much you want or however little you want. That's the beauty about tacos. You make them the way you want them. You use the ingredients you want. I mean, they, there are some fancy, fancy tacos out there. But this combination right here works best for me. I mean, I like to, I'm a traditional taco guy. But I like to mix it up a little bit. I mean, look at that taco. Look at these things. Oh, they're so good. So, I think we should just try it. So, give me just a second and we'll jump back in. We'll give it a try. Okay, here's a nice little close-up shot of what we just created in no time at all. I mean, this is such a simple recipe. I mean, look at that. Those things, they smell so good. So, I can't wait to try it. So, let's jump in. Well, time to for a taste test on one of these. Like I said, you got the pico de gallo, you've got the avocado, you've got the queso blanco cheese melted on there. You have your nicely seasoned browned hamburger. So let's try it. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Words cannot describe this. It's got a spicy to it from the Casablanco cheese. It's messy, so you need a fork to scoop everything back up when you're done, but I'm telling you what, you have to try it this way. Traditional tacos are wonderful. Fancy tacos, mm. I love it. I love going to fancy or places that make all the fancy tacos and stuff. But if you just want something different at home, these tacos, I'm telling you, it's the way to go. So, but thank you so much for tuning in to another video at Cook It Simple with Eric. I love having you here. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe, share. So I definitely need to get people out and see the, see this. I mean, definitely want to grow the channel, but it's a slow road. So, but until next week, thank you so much.